Hey, Richard Bryce here, Tennis Hacker. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining the number one tactical mistake that 3.5 and 4.0 tennis players make that costs the matches. Realistically, this also applies to a lot of 4.5 players as well. If you're making this tactical error, you need to fix it if you want to win more. So hopefully you find this video helpful. If you do, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, it's much appreciated if you could do that as well. The big tactical error that players make that cost them points and cost them matches is getting what is an easy ball for a professional tennis player, maybe that short ball, and trying to attack it and crush it for a winner. And missing it, giving your opponent a free point, and just doing that over and over again until you've given your opponent the match. When you watch most players play at the 3-5 and 4-0 level, the ones that aren't winning very much, they're making too many errors by being too attacking. So if you're doing it, it's something that you need to stop because at the 3-5 and at the 4-0 level, you're not capable of hitting attacking balls on a consistent enough basis to make it a viable tactic. Because if you could do it consistently enough, you would be playing a higher level of tennis. You'd either be top end of 4-5 or you'd be playing 5-0 tennis. Because players at that level, they're at that level because they've got better timing and they can attack shots consistently. The only exception to this is going to be if you've got really poor quality movement. You do get some players at the 4-0, they are fantastic shot makers. They are often a little bit older in their 60s and 70s. They used to be a really good player, but now just simply their movement isn't good enough. They don't have the court coverage and that's why they've had to drop down a level. But with the exception of those guys and girls, lower level players are there because they don't have the ability to execute the repertoire of shots, especially attacking shots, because they are the hardest shots in tennis because they require the best timing. So what you need to do if you want to win more is develop more discipline. At the 3-5 level, the 4-0 level, the players that win the tournaments, they are the most consistent players. They're the grinders. So you just have to accept it. You have to develop the discipline until you develop the ability to attack the shot in a consistent enough way to make it a viable tactic. Now, if you're newer to tennis, potentially that just means keep on doing what you're doing. So if you've only been playing for a couple of years and you're on your way up, you're improving steadily, it just means being disciplined while you continue to improve and while you continue to develop your timing and your technique. But if you've been playing tennis for five years, for eight years, for 10 years, you're at the 3-5 sorry, three five level and you're at the 4-0 level and you're still not able to execute attacking shots on a consistent basis, it tells you that you're not skillful enough to do so. It might also mean that your practice isn't very good quality, but more than likely it means that your skill level isn't good enough. Your eye to hand coordination isn't good enough to give you the timing to play attacking shots. So if you want to be able to play attacking shots, obviously for now, you've just got to develop the discipline, but if you want to be able to play attacking shots, in addition to good quality on court practice, you have to do things to become more skillful. Part of that is related to improving visual function so you can read the ball, predict how far it is away and start the swing at the right time. To help you with that I've created a free Tennis Vision Starter program. I'll place a link up there and I'll place a link down in the description so you can start working on this free program. The other part of it is going to be improving your coordination because so much of timing comes down to your coordination and your ability to sequence the kinetic chain properly. To help you with that one, I've got another video that I've made that's gonna talk about how to train and improve coordination in tennis players. So this will be around here somewhere. So click on that video, watch that, and it's gonna show you how to improve your coordination. So hopefully what I've explained in this video makes sense. If you want to win more, you wanna win more matches, you have to be disciplined and just be more consistent because donating your opponent's points is a recipe for losing, it's a recipe for getting frustrated and getting a downward, getting in a downward mental spiral. You just have to be realistic and accept the level that you're playing at. Three fives, four O's do not have the ability to consistently crush forehands, attack and hit winners, so don't do it. Tennis is a game of consistency if you want to win. Okay, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, really appreciate it and it helps me out if you could do that as well. Any comments or questions and hatred for me being honest in this video, leave your feedback down in the comment section and I'll catch you next time.